How do you remember someone who has passed away? Are flowers on a gravesite enough? For ex-Marine Jay Knight, it wasn't. Uh, my name is Jay Knight. Uh, my rank when I was discharged from the Marine Corps was sergeant. I walked into the cemetery and they saw a couple short hair haircuts and they knew exactly who were we were looking for. Uh, Johnny Strong was the only casualty from Waco, Texas. On a foot patrol that I was leading, uh, we were attacked by a sniper uh, which shot and killed uh, Johnny Strong. Johnny Strong was a Marine from Waco, Texas. Um, he was three years younger than me. Uh, I'm currently 27. Uh, he was born on May 18th, uh, 1986. He was quiet, uh, he was smart. He uh, was reserved, uh, but uh, he definitely cared a lot about his friends. Uh, we played uh, board games together. Um, he was very into video games. Just visiting wasn't enough closure for me. And uh, that kind of is why I'm doing the specific uh, type of uh, charity bike ride that I'm doing. Packs to Packs is a, um, a bike ride slash race from Packs East to Packs Prime uh, from, from Boston to Seattle where we're going to be stopping at 24 children's hospitals along the way to raise awareness about what these children's, ho children's hospitals are doing for the kids, how the donations uh, from Child's Play help them uh, during their treatment and the education for their patients. Uh, because this is a uh, veteran-led, veteran-focused type of event, every $20 somebody donates to the Child's Play charity but through the Pax to Pax website is going to be able to send us a picture and a uh, page long article about a veteran um, in their life, uh, whether it be uh, an honorarium of someone that's still alive or a memorial to uh, someone that's passed away. Uh, the team is comprised of um, my wingman or other writer, uh, Denny Salisbury. Uh, Denny Salisbury was wounded in action during my second tour. We decided, well, we're gonna need a support team, or at least a, a vehicle. And I called my friend Peter Wassell. He's a graduate from Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. He's gonna be contacting people for us as we're riding, making sure everything's set up for our visits to the hospitals. And uh, he's gonna be filming his own documentary as a part of his own project uh, about the entire ride. What we're hoping is that it turns into a race between the riders, me and Denny, to a race between how many memorial miles we can sell and how many uh, miles that we're riding. So um, it's 4,400 miles and there's going to be 4,400 articles that we're going to put up on a uh, separate memorial website that, that will stay up. What Travis Manning Foundation tries to accomplish is to reach out to uh, family members, to um, other veterans, and help them do uh, service-related projects um, in honor of uh, their fallen family and friends. After watching this video, I hope people will, um, you know, at a minimum, come out to one of the hospitals as we're traveling and meet with us at one of our uh, ride-out events. As far as uh, what someone can do to help, um, just go out and find a veteran and say thank you. Uh, that's probably going to be enough. You know, put together $20. Uh, when we have our website up and running and we've got the uh, uh, charity widget up, you know, find a veteran in your family, your friends, um, your social circle, find one. Um, get his story. Um, learn about him and tell us about him. In total, we're trying to raise $88,000 from the Memorial Miles. My goal is to try and make that up to 100,000. 4,400 miles, 24 hospitals, 142 days, in honor of Johnny Strong.